Bismillah, alhamdulillah, you're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. We're getting them, uh, emails coming in here pretty fast and furious. Right now, uh, we've just got one that came up. It says, can we eat the meat of the people of the book, the Ahl Kitab? Can we eat the Laham Ahl Kitab, the meat from these guys? And actually, yes, you can. Jewish, Muslim, Christian, all of them, when they slaughter, their meat is halal for us, providing they go again, uh, along with the teachings of Islam, meaning that the animal cannot be already dead and the, it can't be something that was gored to death, run over by a truck, things like this. But as long as they've slaughtered it and they have uh, pronounced the name of God, then certainly that's correct and we can eat it. But as far as saying that all the meat everywhere in the world becomes halal by a statement like that, of course that's not true. A country such as England isn't automatically a Christian country. It just has a lot of Christians in it. So if a person is not Christian, slaughtered the meat, just because his passport says he's from Great Britain or from Denmark or wherever, doesn't mean that the meat is automatically halal. It depends on the person so that they don't slaughter it in the name of something other than Almighty Allah. So that's something that's important to know who slaughtered it and make sure they didn't uh, violate any of the laws, the Islamic laws of slaughter when they did it. And another one's coming in. Okay, can w women get the tattoos like men do? I would like to have a small bunny and a heart on my shoulder. What do you think? Okay, no, I don't think so, sister. I really don't think so. No small bunnies and a heart on your shoulder. No tattoos. Even the men are not supposed to be getting tattoos. That's not a good thing in Islam. Do not get tattoos. And uh, this, uh, spend more time reading the Quran and making dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa and thinking about the next life. And then in the next life, you can do anything you want to. But here, let's stay uh, away from those kind of things. And this one, okay. Let me check, check this. Uh, okay, it says, Do men and women have the same status in front of Allah in Islam like they do in Christianity? Well, I don't know if you know this or not, but in the 7th century, the Catholic Church, which predates Protestantism, the Catholic Church held a council and convened it to decide whether or not a woman even had a soul. And in Islam, a woman does have a soul, and she is equal to men in that, that she is the same in front of Allah in her beliefs and the practices uh, to the extent that she does the same things as a man, gets the same rewards as a man, but in the cases where the men and women are different, Allah has different uh, orders for them. For instance, women don't have to pray during their monthly courses. They don't have to fast during their monthly courses. And they don't do hajj unless they have a male protector to go with them called a mahram. Well, that wraps it up for today. But let's get some more of these in here. Go to our website, islammailbox.com, and check out what's going on there. See you next time right here on The Mailbox. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.